Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series and we are back once again and we have a few new updates from various mods. Um, we have an update from the planet side to the Gungemity. I don't know specifics but there's apparently been some big updates and also uh, lots of fixes and also we have something new here. So as you can see this room is normal as it is but we do have something new here. What is this? Now, look at this here. This is a brand new room added in Expand the Gungeon by Apache. And I believe all the sprites, or at least a lot of them, have been done by Never Named as well. There's going to be a lot more to this it's going to get built onto and added to. But right now, <clears throat> you can come here and spend 100 Progemony credits and like just practice the uh, Punch-Out mode. Uh, but basically, it's a way to, um, it's like a hegemony sink. It's, there's nothing to spend your hegemony credits on, so this is kind of a sink for it. And I believe this is, um, find out what item it gives you. We got a key. Another key. And the shell gun. Interesting. So, we just spent a bunch of hegemony credits, and then we can run into your, go into your run. And now we have a few extras to start with. So, it's a really interesting way to, uh, give yourself a bit of an advantage at the start of your runs for, um, a few pops of hegemony credits. So, kind of interesting. I like the idea. I like the idea. And we're starting off with um, the Nitro Cylinder. Interesting. The Rebonair. Re Rebon Rebondair? Rebondair? Fires bouncy bolts of energy that can only get stronger with each ricochet. Interesting. Um, we've also, of course, got the Shell Gun, too. Interesting indeed. Okay, I don't think I've actually used it before, but it, by the sounds of it, we want to be ricocheting it. Uh, also, I think it's just a, yeah, ex it's just Explode on Reload that we've got currently. This thing seems pretty good. <clears throat> Obviously, the, the bounce isn't super important. Yeah, having the um, explosions on Reload is kind of nice. Might be able to get a little bit of use out of that. I don't know how much. But yeah, we're just jumping into a bit more Gungeon here. I'm excited for it. I'm also going to try and go to the new... Um, Gonna try and go to the new path, the uh, Apache path, because apparently there's been some new music added and created for the alt path, which is pretty awesome. I never thought it'd get its own music, but apparently it has been done, which is pretty awesome. Um, hello. That's a bit rude, game. That is a bit rude. We did get an item out of that, though. And we got whatever this is, Energy Plated Shield. Interesting. Four plates of protective shield. Um, originally banned from the issue engine um, for its use in torture methods. It was disguised as a def defense item when being smuggled around the Gemini. In a hilarious twist, it proved to function better as a defensive shield than a torture device. Interesting. So I'm, I'm guessing this is just going to block shots for us. It may do some other additional things, but I guess we'll see. Pretty cool, though. I like it. I like it indeed. We we shall see how it um how it functions, <clears throat> what sort of benefit it provides to us. And just blast on through. Last run, if I remember correctly, was, was very, very good. <clears throat> was that the shade run that I did? Okay, so they seem to have like a little bit of a cooldown timer to them. Um I think they can only block one shot at a time by the looks of it. So they're not gonna be the end all be all, but they are stationary, unlike like one stone, so I feel like that's definitely a benefit. And something that's a little more unique about it. So I can get behind that. Boss here. We do have three keys, which means that we uh, can pretty easily get down to um, the alt path floor without too much trouble. This thing's got a good amount of damage. Oh, God. That was close. This thing does a, a good amount of damage here. Okay, so there's that tree room there. Give me that ammo, thank you. Oh, there was a heart behind it as well. You can see that. <clears throat> I heard the spawn sound go off twice, but I never actually heard what caused it. Okay. Another chest. We actually do get a Gwonstone this time. And we got elite bullets. Oh, damn. This is going to be an easy run. <laughs> elite bullets are insane. Elite bullets are, you no longer have to aim and everything's perfectly accurate. It's essentially an aimbot. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. It's a lot of fun, though. It makes some guns really crazy. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with beams, as we learnt, though. 
which is a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, I kind of understand it. Uh, what's this here? The Red Robin. It doesn't look that good. I will buy an additional key, though. Uh, let's go fight the boss. How is this going to work with my shotgun? I think it's going to be very good, actually. Yes, it's very good. As you can see, every single shotgun groups together and fires perfectly accurately at the boss. And every shot that the shotgun fires, fires perfectly accurately at the boss. Oh my goodness, this is strong. <laughs> You've got to remember this one. Yes, this is a strong combo. I mean, like I said, Elite Bullets is kind of strong with anything, but this is particularly quite strong. How would this even work? I wonder if it chases them around or not. Okay. Let's go do this. Try and not destroy our barrels or anything here. Okay, we've, we've got the, the, the standard basic room here. So we just need to crash this out of here. Why is the barrel moving so fast? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Can I seriously not get behind this? There you go. Oh my god, the bushes. There you go. Set that tree on fire. Head our way down. There you go. Into the tree hole. We got a way up from here too. Apparently the wall mimic is now gone. That was a bug, which is a bit sad because I actually really liked the wall mimic in here. But as you can see, it seems to be gone now, which is both a shame and kind of understandable. It was literally just a free item every single time you went down there. But yeah, I think this floor has new music. The belly of the beast definitely does. And this one will eventually if it doesn't already. It does. Awesome. Ooh, I like it. I think this was created by a Korean artist, if I remember correctly. That I might be incorrect on that. Uh, do do please correct me, Apache, if that's the uh, that's the case. But unique music for the floor. That's something I did not think I'd be seeing. It's quite fitting as well. It's quite somber. God damn this shotgun. Ah, veteran be veteran. My veteran wins. Oh, this is this 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 is a bot. Oh, it switched out, it switched over a little bit. Mmm. It's not really what I'd expect from Gungeon music, but that is not a bad thing. I think it fits quite well. It's just, it's very, like, I think it's just because it's, it's like, ooh, another key. It's, it just feels a lot more relaxed than, um, than Gungeon Music generally is. Gungeon Music's normally a little more a little more combat -y, but I don't think that's to say that it doesn't work, because it definitely does. Well, there's a key in this room. I, I hate the way it does this. Tell me where the heckin' key is, game. There it is. In the wall. God damn this shotgun. It's doing very well. I love that. <laughs> All the pellets just swarming them. Air blaster, I think. Not. I like the intro to the music. It's really nice. It's just weird to have something different. Like, really weird. Also, it kind of... It, I think another thing that, that really is, like, making it just feel so nice and, like, fitting is it works so well with the rain sounds. It's got the sound of the rain falling alongside it, and it surprisingly just goes so well. I love this. What do other people think of it? 
give a little vibe to this. And like I said, I want to try and get to the belly of the beast as well because I very much like to uh, listen to the music there. I, I will spawn in the crest, the wooden crest, if I don't make it there legit. Because I really do want to... For one, I haven't been to the belly in a while really properly. And for two, yeah, I do want to kind of show it off. Because I haven't heard either of these. This is my first time hearing this and my first time hearing the belly one as well. I don't know if Old West has any unique music. Hey, Molotov. Oh, wait. I thought this was my Molotov buddy. This is just level 2 Molotov. Although, level 2 Molotov isn't a bad thing, I guess. Where's our other chest? Boom. Ah, level 2 Molotov is just green fire, I see. So basically, it's just a Molotov in which we can't hurt ourselves. And it sets enemies on fire permanently. That's pretty good. For a D tier as well, that's really good. I'd expect that to be a C tier, to be honest, but I'm glad it's a D tier. Okay, we're all out. I actually think this thing is pretty good with elite bullets. Like, I mean, everything's pretty good with elite bullets, really, but, like, normally this thing's kind of hard to aim. Now we don't have to aim it anymore, so. Nice. Bubble V bubble. There's so much water on that little puddle there uh, in the middle. Hey, that's a nice weapon. Rage rifle. That's going to be a pretty potent weapon to have um, with all this herming. I think this is the one that gets more damage the more cares that you have. But either way, it's still going to be very good as is. There you go. Oh, you see that dodge there? I don't know how I did that. Damn, I can't actually hit the dude because of all the other enemies. It's not homing onto the right guy. What's in this room, then? Is it just one more combat room? Might well be, actually. Quite a long floor, to be fair, this one. Not not this floor in general, but this, this generation of it. But then again, I do like that because it, it is meant to be a forest. It's a winding forest that's kind of difficult to navigate. The rage, it, it's, at the minute, I don't think we have enough curse because it's really not doing much. The damage on it isn't great. I thought it'd be a lot better than it is, but I suppose we just got to wait until we get more curse for it to really amp up. Don't forget to get the crest, but let's go. I do want to try out the bubbler here. Okay, apparently the bubbles set that on fire, which is weird. Yeah, flawless lost, but... This gal is a little hard to flawless, I'll be honest. Okay, this is going reasonably well. Stop spawning things, though, because you're taking focus away from hitting you. Can they hit you? Not quite. I mean, they kind of can. There you go. They get there eventually. Ooh, what's... I can't remember what this does now. I should have taken it from my shotgun, really. Uh, what does this do again? Is it, like, the closer I am? Deals 50% more damage to enemies have more than half their health. Okay, nice. That's actually pretty good. And don't forget the wooden crest. I wasn't looking for secret rooms as we went round, but that's kind of fine. Let's go. Such a fun little floor. And the music, like I said, truly, truly bopped.
And I like that. I like it to bop. Right. Carry on with this thing. Ooh. Some new enemies there. Oh, I really should have taken advantage there and grabbed some curse. Okay, this thing. This thing is so good with the homing. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, I can get the extra homing on it. Oh, wait, there's even more ammo in there. There was more ammo in there that I've now lost. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, let's grab some curse here. One. I tried to get two, but I missed. Oh, I lost my crest. It's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll grab it back. Okay, there you go. That's enough curse. Okay, let's go to the shop here. I'm gonna grab this gun just because I feel like it could actually be insanely good with uh, elite bullets. Yeah, it's 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 insane. Like, it, do do be aware, this gun can damage us, so it's not really something we want to be messing around with too much. But it does insane damage. And if it's going to hover on top of an enemy. <laughs> this is a combo. Holy hell. Look at that. Just swoops on in. That's brilliant. This technically counts. I think this is a beam weapon, so I don't think this will do anything with elite bullets. I'm gonna try it out just to be just to be disappointed. Uh, okay, this is where we give ourselves the wooden crest. Um, give wooden oh. crest. Yeah, there you go. Okay, don't forget to go down there. I ain't paid no ghost. I ain't paid no toast either. Yeah, this this doesn't really do anything with that. I like this setup. You've gotta be careful, because once the saw blades in the sky, we can take some damage. More curse. The afflicted amulet. What does this do again? Blank supply fear for three seconds. Okie dokie. <laughs> Everything's dead. One saw blade. We'll see you right. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, what a combo. What a stupidly, stupidly powerful combo. Right, let's go do the boss. This thing should annihilate bosses. Oh god. It did annihilate bosses, but I made a mistake. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I walked right in the way of it. Why did I take damage? Oh, there's saw blades everywhere. I'm like, why did I just take damage there? That's because there's fucking saw blades scooting around every inch of everywhere. This is a big boy. What the hell? He looks awesome. I think I'm going to go with all stats up. That just sounds useful to me. Health is a little bit of a concern, but we could buy some ammo to be fair. Uh, not ammo, armor. I think I will do that. I'm going to buy all of them. Now let's head to the belly of the beast, wherever it was. I don't remember. Is it here? It was indeed. Yay, key. Into the mouth we go.
to hear the tunage that's going on on this floor. I'm excited. Oh, that's already ominous. I like this. Oh, it's a little loud. I don't know if I can turn it down some. I cannot. But otherwise, this is so good. Okay, it's trying to hit the metal block. Not my intention. Yeah, good. This this is good. Yeah, it's health about good. This is the burp looking room that is terrible. Boomerang? I mean, add to the herming, my dude. We already have herming, so why not add more herming? Okay, let's be careful. Some creatures about as well. Oh, nice. God damn, those blocks are scary. Flesh blocks. Ah! Thank you for the ammo. So close to me getting hit by that blade, then. I like this room. God, I love the just like the theming of this floor, and then like I just made the decision to add pits to every single room, and I think it worked really well. It fits in with the enemies and stuff. Oh god, that was just a bad place to stand, wasn't it? And I think Nevername designed some of these rooms as well, and they look pretty damn good. Just gotta get the hell out of there before the blades come back. It's a bit of a risky strategy, this, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. This one's managed to bounce into the other room. Oh no. Oh god, a raccoon got caught in the crossfire. You have so much junk right now. I wonder why we just got junk as a room reward. That's kind of weird. back to me. Right, let's do the boss now. Ah, Salt Lid made its way in here. God damn it. This is going to be so risky. Ah, fuck me. Did that hit me? I do not know. Oh my god. <laughs> this is silly. What am I doing? If I get a run that should be an insta-win, I've got to throw a bit of risk into the pot, don't I? Got to throw a bit of risk into the pot. Pfft. Oh my 
god. It's all Blitgun, my beloved. Okay, we're almost done. We are getting so many. So many. Uh, oh, wait. I think... One, one second, one second, one second. There's no shop on this floor, right? I think we need a key for the black chest. We did. Okay, good. Boom beam. Ooh, I remember the boom beam being really good. The holster as well. Alright, let's get out of here. Very awesome. That's some cool music there. Needs the, the volume needs lowering a little bit, but otherwise, very good. See, I want to use the boom beam, but it doesn't work with elite bullets, so it's a little upsetting to use. And it doesn't have any risk associated with it, or very little at least. But at the same time, the boom beam is insane. There's a reason it's S tier. Let's, let's, let's try this out, because this thing might be insane right now. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's gained quite a lot of damage. But then again, Boom Beam. Oh, wah, you bastard. Boom beam. Nice, I got whatever this is following me. Oh, that's a nice one to have following you. We need some of this quick reload. this will do for now. I like it. It's a good pairing. Oh my god. Actually, to be fair, this thing, like, working along... Do you know what? I might just use the boom beam. Because as long as I remember to reload every now and again, this thing's proccing elite bullets anyways. Oh wait, is it? I don't think it is. Not while I'm holding this, at least. Yeah, I have to be holding a gun that works with elite bullets for it to actually prop. That's a bit sad, but also understandable. The hell is chem grenade? Interesting, it's not an active. Explosives leave pools of poison. Ooh. That's an interesting combo. Because on reload, I explode. And I have the boom beam. Nice. That's a, that's a nice little synergy there. I, at first, I read it as if it didn't give immunity. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Get as many of these fellas in here as we can. There you go. I'll try to dodge my impending doom. Suicide King. I have to find out what this does, because this seems like it could be horrible. Um, once more into the breach. This could be awful. Synergies. Oh god, I'm scared.
Suicide King doubles the damage of the handgun and gives the ability to insta-kill any boss with the king in the name. King projectiles from the handgun have their damage quadrupled rather than doubled. Interesting. So it doesn't actually do anything for our saw gun, which is a little bit sad. But at the same time, that sounds pretty good. I can get behind this. And then I think Explosive Birth is very, very good for us right now, so I think we should definitely take that. Because Explosive Birth um, is going to trigger on every reload. I, this is a good gun. <laughs> With this synergy, this thing is popping. It's also a really cool gun in, in general. I like the idea of it. Firing different suits of cards. Extra key. Oh, by the way, the mu- Ah, the mushrooms die after the room is over, so you can't step on them. I was wondering what that effect was. That's pretty cool. What the hell's this? Shades Eye doubles boss loot, but taking damage in a boss fight causes instant death. Oh. Oh, yes, we're, <laughs> we're most certainly taking that. Oh, you know I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, this is going to be terrible, but hilarious. I have to say using the saw gun might not be the best idea in bosses anymore. Ah, what even hit me then? Okay. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. This is a risky run now. <laughs> I am sure that I will die instantly on the next boss that appears, but I've got to give it a go because it's a new item and it sounds like exactly my sort of item. As long as it tells you up front that, hey, you could use this, but you will die, or it just says discard this and it's fine, then I'm, a, I'm all down for this sort of stuff. <laughs> if you don't flawless the boss, you are dead. I like those odds. I will die on this boss of the dragon, but I like those odds. I also really like this gun. With elite bullets, it's pretty nutty. I mean, everything's nutty with elite bullets, so that's not really fair to say, but... Get me over that gap. We have so much junk. And still no junkin'. So much junk and still no junkin'. The power of this as well. And it's quick reloading too, so. Also, the magazine on this, the, the little cards in the magazine, never named, they look fantastic. They're so good. It's such a good ad addition to the game to make weapons just feel so much more complete. Having unique ammo. The fuck is this? Now this... I'm interested to see how this works with Elite Bullets. I'm honestly not sure. It seems to bleed enemies, I think. I think on the third hit, it explodes them. I need to check this out. One, two, three. It definitely explodes them eventually. I like that idea. That's fun. 
And it does work with elite bullets too, which I like. Kind of not properly, but you know, in a way. Can you move out the way, please, so I can hit this enemy? That, you are in the worst position possible. Oh my lord! Ow! God damn it! It's the first time I've been hit by one of those, I think. Oh, that was so stupid. Walk right into the pit. Hey, ammo back, health back even. Why am I getting so many raccoons? The raccoon item increased raccoon spawns. So I'm getting so many. Or the trash bag item, whatever it's called. I love this just impending. Oh, does it work on mini bosses? Because if I get hit in a mini boss, I might go down pretty quick. But at the same time, you are getting bashed. I think it worked, because we got Scrambler out of that, which we wouldn't normally get, right? That's good. Right, let's see how this goes. Uh, to be fair, I'm going to say that I might get hit, simply because of the fact that I really cannot see. There's just so much explosives and stuff going on on my current person. It's very, very hard to keep an eye on life. But I did it. How is it going to do it? Does it drop it on me? It does, and it gave us another chamber. That line, that could be an interesting one. I don't think I want any of those. I'm good with my health right now. This is such a fun gun. I'm loving this thing. Also, the sprite for it is insane. This thing with explosive birth is a lot of fun, too. Explosive birth in general is just a lot of fun. I mean, let's add to the poison, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> if I get hit by this guy, I think I die. <laughs> this may have been ill-advised. Just a single key. Come on now. We got the spin down. I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm pretty good with what I've got. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? <laughs> I love the zoom out on this, by the way. Thank you for doing that. Makes the fight so much more tolerable. That was close. That attack lasted a while, I'm glad, because otherwise I would be dead. And villain. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Let's have a look what this one does. Um. Um. Bill. Um, going clubbing. All club suits, um, projectiles fired by the hand, give, by the handgun, give their dam, uh, have their damage doubled, and gain a further 7% for each blank the user has. Ooh, there's some saucy stuff about today. 
I'm liking it. This thing's good, but this thing's got some real some real might to it now, so I think I'm gonna use this for a little bit. Alright, let's get going. God damn our health. <laughs> our HP has skyrocketed. It really has. It really has. Power. But yeah, at least we know that all bosses count, including mini bosses now. The damage. We have such awesome synergies right now. Explosive bear plus nitro cell plus the poison nitro cell. Elite bullets is just insane, and we have. Two synergies for the handgun that both make it incredible and deal more damage. And then we have this thing, like this has got quick reload, we got the elite bullets on this weapon that's like a secondary that's just obscenely strong. going. Got them, we're speeding through, but it's good. Whoa, that was like a new cultist, I think. That was a dual-wielding cultist. He might not be new, but I haven't, I don't remember him. Looks like something new that Apache's added, but I might be wrong. Got damn trap chests. We got ourselves the projectile something or other. Projectile transmuter. Transmutes all projectile um all of your projectiles. Reload enough full clip to transmute. What? Let's try it with a different gun first. What? Wait, can I make them like fire and stuff? I'm gonna go red. Oh, hello there. Why are you selling the sunlight javelin? I thought you sold trash. Is this guy not meant to sell trash? Oh no, I'm thinking of the wrong guy. I'm thinking of Never Names, dude. I'm getting him mixed up. More ammo. Also, every piece of junk we pick up, as you can clearly see, is increasing my max ammo. And I have so much extra max ammo now. Diggity damn. I love this gun. I mean, it's just obscenely powerful because of the synergies we've got, but either way, I think this gun's really cool. I like it a lot. It's a cool idea. The hand gun. I get it. Like a hand of cards. Ooh. I think this is worth a grab. Rico, blank cannon. Oh, hello, synergy. Interesting. This is my first modded. Oh god. Oh god, broke the beams. Broke the beams. My first modded dual wheel synergy. Cool, it's not 
going to be super useful for me, but it's very cool. Well, hello there, sir. How you doing? Ooh, synergy room. Give me more synergies for this thing. I'm guessing it has one for each suit by the looks of it. It seems like a bit of a synergy magnet, to be honest. I love those sort of weapons. But on their own, they're a bit so-so. They're not they're not crazy powerful. But when you get synergy, like different different items, kind of like the Arky, um, whatever it's called. Is it called the Arky? The Argun? You know what I mean? You know the one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see what's in here first. The one was this. Which is very disappointing. E excuse me, how do I not have enough master rounds? I have four. <laughs> they might be two of the same ones, but still. Right, give me what I need. synergy is this. Bubble trouble. It just fires a big bubble now. Nah. Handgun all the way. Right, remember, if I get hit, I die. Keep ration available because I actually don't know how ration will function. If you have ration in your active slot, it will revive you if you die. I do not know how that will work with this, um, with this shades eye item or whatever it's called. I have a feeling it'll just outright kill me regardless of my revives. Gives me the double loot, but it, it will always kill me. But I don't know. Ration might be a good way around it. I have no idea. By the way, this is annihilating him. As it should be. I mean, we do have insane damage. But still, this is a fun annihilation of the dragon. I just know that I'm going to roll bad here and fuck this up. Beautiful. He is dead. Elite bullets. You have done me very well. We also got a gun for some reason. What's this gun again? I, I, I like this gun. It's got cool animations, but I don't remember what it does. Um, a protein. These loosely bound um, moats of gun fl uh, float in existence through. Ooh, interesting. I think with elite bullets, this thing will be really good. Did you not die? You did not die. Good to know. Chaotic shift, it's just too good. Do you know what? I'll take that as well for a revive just in case. Oh god. Well, that's interesting. Uh, what happened to my favourite gun? Oh, it ruined the sound. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my lord. This thing's a bit broken, but... That's making some noises I don't care for, so I'm gonna get out of here. Wait, why has this thing got four things attached to it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah! I thought I broke it somehow. Oh god. Is that noise gonna go away when I load the next floor? I kinda hope so. I think because I was holding do wields, it broke the bubble blaster because that was the next gun that I equipped, and that's now got four things attached to it. I'm not 100% sure if that's what's happened there, but something's definitely gone wrong, and I like that. <laughs> I'm going to try and test some of these guns out before we uh, roll the... Uh, 
Are you kidding me? Guess what I attached to my Anne villain? The Anne villain. I randomly attached the Anne villain to the Anne villain. Yeah, this thing has four for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Although it seems to not be firing four. Also, apparently it speeds up every projectile, not just the bubble, which is precarious and rather interesting, to be honest. But I think this is still my go-to, although... Ooh, this fire's like... Cosmic Rifts now. What the hell are these Rifts? This is interesting. Is everything dead? I kind of want to use this and see how this goes. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> I was going to say, like, the electricity must be really good on this, right? It very much is. And the shot itself is just, oh my lord. What just happened? And the shot itself is also really good from the actual gun that we have. Oh my god, it spawned on me again. Always been hit by that. Now that's a lot of foes. Oh my god, there's a big boy down here too. We have quite a lot of keys. This is awesome. This is so fun. The electricity kills all, all those explosions as well. It kills anything that goes between it too. It's incredible. Found a secret room somehow. Oh, I think I got hit on the shield there. Keep this going. It just knocks everything into pits immediately. More junk. Hell yes. Still no junkin' somehow. All this junk and still no junkin'. Oh, it's this room. Of course, I left the jammed one to last. Okay, okay, we're nearly, nearly there now. That guy managed to fire, apparently. <gasps> Ammo. Hell yes. Ah, oh, you bugger. <laughs> okay, you can't make that. My mistake was assuming that I could. Interesting looking room. <laughs> I just love the way it immediately pushes them into the clip. It's like, no thank you. No thanks, I'm full. Okay, there 
There you go. You're all taken care of. And of course, we're both the wrong ways. This is the right way. When do you ever not? There you go. We are in the home stretch. This is the boss here, I think. Oh my god, so many explosions. Some extra junk just to kick us off. Yeah, this is annihilating him. Rightfully so. I still don't really know what's going to happen if I get hit. Okay, I did die. And I, could, I came back with my extra life. So I didn't have ration. My extra life that I got from Bunny's mod. Are you alright there, sir? I do have an additional extra life from ration. That's a kind of good item, but I don't think I want it. <laughs> it's too risky. If I don't have ration selected at the right time, I die. I do find it funny that the different forms has given me loot, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite break the damage cap, and there it is. The insta-death. Ration did not save me. Unfortunate, but what a fun run, though. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was an absolute blast, and I'll see you guys in the next one.